people, welcome to another episode of Bethel Brothers Hot Rod Project 69. Um, I'm prepping to get all the fiberglass on. Probably going to have to run to the store and get some more. Did find it cheaper. Um, the metal that I put in there, I set with some screws. Drywall ones so they wouldn't come out, in case you were wondering. And then if you're wondering what this blue tape is, these are all the inserts where those little moldy things went. And I ground down all the bolts that were showing, and that's just so uh, the fiberglass doesn't fall through the hole. And why am I telling you about tape? Because it's kind of important. This back one, this is what this episode's all about, where it's all busted. I've gone over it with a light coat of primer, just so it has some bite when I put it on. And then using blue tape. See? Blue tape. I ran backing, and this is how I fixed uh, that smashed up top for the blazer project. You just use it as backing and mud in, and then uh, the tape doesn't stick to it, and you peel it right off. And then you coat the inside, and you're done. You just want to grind into it like I did, expose it more so it has more bite to grab. There was some up here where the bumper hit. Bam! See, it's going to look like this one. Like that. A little rounded detail. Which got blew off. See? All gone. And, uh, oh yeah. Got the stickers off using the map torch. Heat them up. They peel right off. That one I ground off. It said Z71 off-road douchebag. Then this side, it's going to take a crap load, man. I went short on my framing, so fuck. Gotta put a lot on. Sorry about the dirty word, but fuck. See, now they screw. Anyway, I'm gonna fill that crap up. It is Sunday. Gotta talk to Granny. So. Oh, and then there was some up here too, and I dimpled them with a, a ball peen hammer, and then put the tape in there to keep the mud from sinking in. Get it? Get it? Get it? And then you just sand it flat. Ta-da! No more douchebag stuff. Blue tape. Use that stuff. If you got it for painting, why not use it? Alright, so I had to wait. Let this stuff dry, but I've already sanded it and then coated it with another light coat of primer. Just so I can see the high and low point. And I mean a light coat. Dust. Just dust. This one I'm getting really close on finishing. About one more coat. And it's good on this side. I got some in here to fill. Uh, dimpling those things made it easy to fill up the holes. Let's see, let's get to what you really want to see this back end. Now you remember how broken it was, right? All of this to fix, and when I go and do that, I will show you more because there's a big chunk of it missing. I'll show you guys how to do this. It's pretty easy. It looks bad, and it is bad. See, look, it's totally broken. But I'll show you how to fix it. You can totally fix those. Now you can hit it. Not doing it easy. Now it's still kind of shaky a little bit because I didn't feel all the, like that, where the bumper had dug into that. I didn't get that all fixed. There's still some busted edges, but it's closer. It is closer, and the tape did its trick. It held it in place, and then I'm gonna tear all the tape off. In fact, I'll do it right now. I just didn't want to bore you with it. There's this raised lip back here where it was busted. See it? I'm gonna grind that down some more. And I got some different stuff instead of the Bondo jelly for this. It's got small hairs in it. But see how it didn't stick to the back I don't know if that's showing up I can't see you know it's sticking my head under there but uh this side still needs a crap load and I'm going to use that hairy bondo to fill in this because I don't want that to just chunk off and the hair stuff does work a little better I'm not going to lie to you this is primarily what I used on Everything else was the fiberglass resin jelly. It goes on smooth, it sands smooth, and it's incredibly durable, as you saw. No crap.
cracky cracky of this stuff bundo glass you have to read underneath it where it says short strand reinforced fiberglass filler what it is it's like all these little hair fibers now you, there's another one that's called bondo hair and uh or fiberglass hair you just have to look big long strands in fact by the time you're done sanding it kind of has a consistency of the cloth because of the hair and then you'd go back in and fill it with this as a smoother coat but this stuff is incredibly strong the more fibers you have in it the stronger it is and because of that kind of break there I'm going to make sure to use use that on the back still got an incredible amount of shaping but I'm nearly done with the bed if I had two days in a row to do it it would be done but I'm going to do what I can so stick around stay tuned okay so I applied both of those cans that I showed you and I'm very close on this one though I'm still gonna need more and it's still a little tacky, so it's going to take a while. Open this. Ah! Filled up some of this gap back here with the Bondo hair. And then uh, got in back behind here after I ground it down. Got plenty in there. Bondo hair. You can see some of the hairs off of this, see? These little hairy things. But it holds really good. And that thing's beef now. I don't have to worry about it snapping. It's buff stuff. And I don't know if you remember how off that one was, but it's a lot closer now. I've, those are 20 bucks a can, 21 bucks a can, and I've gone through eight of them. I think six or eight of them. So I'm pretty much going to have to wait till I get paid again to be able to afford more. I could dip into my savings, but I don't want to do that. Just don't want to do it. But that stuff is really strong. I mean, considering what that sounds like with just a little on it to rock solid. So it'll be beef. You can use other body fillers to do this, but it can't compare with the strength. And I plan to put a, you know, some kind of plate over this, so I want this to be buff. Because there's really nothing holding these two together but the fiberglass. Yes, the framework is welded to other spots, but if something really heavy got going on in there, it there's a potential it could have moved, but not anymore. So I'm going to let it set up really good. And then tons of sanding and knocking it off with the concrete on the floor. But I can't really show you anything. It's like watching paint dry, you know. I just really believe in this product. So if you want to fill out some stuff, the Bondo hair works good. And the jelly is a good smoother. So there you have it, people. I'm almost there.